Hi friends, welcome back to our channel. I'm Chase. And I'm Maria Jose. And this is our 2016 Mercedes Sprinter van named Chevere. Which if you might want to know what Chevere means, it's cool in Spanish. I'm from Venezuela and we like integrating Spanish word to, I don't know, our daily life. It quite literally means like cool, awesome, yeah. rad. So it's very appropriately fitting. We used to live in a school bus. With our dogs, Jake and Pablo. Yep. They travel with us full time. This was back in 2018. Yes. And then we decided to downsize again into a sprinter van. A lot of you have been following along over the last six months where we bought the van right at the beginning of a global pandemic and then built it all throughout quarantine. And well, six months later, it's done. So it's finally time that you get to see the whole tour of this van. And we are so pumped to show you. So come on in. So you get to hang out with me first. But first things first, let's take off our shoes and hide them away in this little cubby here. Let's start in the cockpit. Thankfully, Marose and I are able to both swap out driving privileges, so I'm not always in the driver's seat. That's something that was a little different than in the bus. This is your standard Mercedes-Benz Sprinter 2500 170 inch wheelbase. So it's the extended version, but it's non-extended after that. It's not the longest that you can get. We picked this up in California after searching for almost five months coast to coast. It was an entirely fun process. Let's, uh, we'll say that. We ended up picking it up from a private party in Paris, California. We flew there at the very beginning of the pandemic, wearing our masks, we were a little ahead of the curve, and uh, we met up with a really awesome family who picked us up from LAX and took us to Paris, California, where we bought the van. From there, we drove it straight back through to Tennessee and started the build. So while we're up here, you may notice, even though this is a high top sprinter, that this is relatively low. Well, we built a shelf over the bulkhead, but we took it a step further. Cue the lights, babe. So we installed those lights because this swivel seat turns around and we also wanted to bring a little bit of extra light into the cab area since we utilize this as part of our living space. We took it a step further and installed four USBs, uh, two um, USB 3.0 on the left side, one USB-C and another USB uh, 3.0 on the right side. That way we always have forward facing security slash dash cam and we can charge and use our laptops, uh, whoever's not driving while we're going down the road. It came stock with the Mercedes uh, navigation system that comes with the rear view camera and everything. A lot of people complain about that. I think we actually really like the Bluetooth in it. It's not the most advanced, but it does exactly what it needs to do. We had to have this. It opens up so much extra space. We chose only to have the one swivel because we've got this wall here. And then Jake's bed is up here because while we drive, he really likes to sit up and we wanted him to be elevated enough that way he could see out all the windows. Um, but it's also storage in each compartment here for their leashes, their guidelines, because we have hooks installed on the bottom side of the van. That way they can always be outside with us. And then under the seat is our diesel heater. So we have a diesel heater installed uh, with the remote up here. It keeps us toasty warm. And we've, we've been in this van through every climate that you can imagine already. And we haven't even officially moved into it yet, so. If you knew our bus before, you know that floor plan is super important for us and that's why we took so much time designing the van layout, which we put together a whole van layout guide. So if you like our layout, make sure to check it out. The link is going to be in the description and there's going to be info about everything about building a van. But let's leave that to the end. Let me show you over here the sink area where the fridge is. We decided to keep the kitchen area a little bit different. Sink in this part of the van, we went with an undermount apron style sink. I love it so much. It's a great size for 
a van it's not too small or not too big something else that we didn't have in the bus before was water filtration system but this is amazing we have always fresh water which is a five stage filtration which means we're always gonna have fresh water we also have a soap dispenser which we also didn't have in the van and it saves so much space to have the whole countertop open then we have our fridge which i love we used to have a huge fridge in the bus so having a good size fridge inside the van without taking the whole space over uh, was very important and that's when we found our isotherm cruise elegance it's at 130 liters otherwise 4.6 cubic feet and it runs on a 12 volt or on a 110 which we will explain a little bit more about power later on the video but let me get you a fresh drink no chase yeah i would take one as you can tell, we have a lot of space and the fridge is not even like super fill in. So we still have quite a bit of space, which makes me very happy. Underneath the sink, we have this little area where we keep our vacuum. We also have the water filtration system. We have a water heater, which works amazing. We tried the other day and it took like 10 minutes max to heat up the water so we always have hot water in the van i put the lids for our pots and pans over here so they're out of the way and they're not gonna be moving and rattling while we're driving which is very important for chase he hates all the sound of like little things above the fridge i'm very proud of this area because i was so afraid of not being organized inside the van and i i think we do pretty good i think we have a little bit too many uh, essential oils but that's okay we have the space for it above it we have cabinet with all our stuff for the kitchen like plates we love coffee 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 mugs you know our everyday while i'm here i'm gonna show you two of my must have for the van one is this pantry over here Look at all the space. In the bus, we barely had any space for our canned food and dry food. When we were building the van, we knew we needed a space dedicated for all food related. Another of my favorites right here in the front, and it's a full-size mirror. I know I wanted a full-size mirror because, you know, we live in a van, but we don't have to look bad, right? That's all right. <laughs> now Chase is gonna show you the other area of the kitchen. And now to this side of the kitchen, realistically, it's a multi-purpose space. So um, we have plenty of prep space here for when we're cooking. Our electric induction cooktop, yes, you heard that right. It is electric induction. There's no propane whatsoever in this van. We'll explain that a little bit later. But this right here is something that when we were in the bus, we knew we had to find a better solution for. And this was our trash area, trash can in the van. So it's hidden. We can throw everything away and then we can just close it up. And on the lower part of the whole trash thing that came to us in an inspiring moment is an additional slide out drawer so we can make use of the lower part of this cabinet, which is pretty much all of our cleaning supplies. Everything's on a soft close uh, drawer slide, but that doesn't mean that it stays closed. So we have locks that you have to give a pretty good pull to. The first drawer is super organized. Marose's uh, cooking utensils. And they lock in. Then all of our spices that we need for cooking, some pot pans and bamboo uh, chopping boards, some really awesome reusable eco-friendly towels and uh, sponges and our blender and some pots and pans that we had to buy for the electric cooktop. And then moving on, you might notice this is a relatively large space. One, in part, it is, like I said, food preparation for us while we're cooking, but it's also the home to a large majority of our clothing storage. So we have these really awesome deep drawers. This is a shared drawer for underwear and socks. My drawer, which house almost all of my clothes, right? 
And then Rosé's, which is significantly more organized than mine. We didn't talk about this at the very beginning. If there's one thing that Marose is really bothered by, it's this. So let's just bask in the glory for a second while she gives this mean face to me behind the camera. Oh, Look. don't you just love it? But this isn't the only way that we can turn the lights on and off. We did want a remote, but we did understand that having a remote, I was probably going to lose it. Um, so we do have a dedicated light switch that even if the lights are on up here, we can also flip it off when we're in bed. We can show that to you later. And then last but not least, our upper cabinet storage here. It's kind of a multi-use and multi-purpose space as well. Everything in a Sprinter van is, truthfully. We have some extra soaps and shampoos. We've got some toiletries, Rosé's makeup bag, and we have a space for our vitamins, which reminds me, I don't think we took our vitamins today. There you go, babe. Thanks. Now's a great point for us to stop and tell you about our sponsor for today's video. Which is Kerof. Chase and I, a couple of weeks ago, we're talking about how we haven't been feeling the best, very tired, and kind of like trying to figure out what's what was missing. For sure, we find out that we were missing some vitamins. We went to careof.com and we took their quiz, which is like five minutes out of your day, but you put in all sorts of things about your life, your lifestyle, everything from dietary restrictions mm -hmm. and any type of allergies, and then kind of what your health goals are. And the quiz spits out every vitamin that would work great for you. Something that I love, it was the vitamins were made for us. So it's not like I randomly went to the drugstore and just guess what I need and just pick up a bunch of things and hope for the best. No, actually I feel so much better after taking it. As soon as we got the package, we noticed everything was so personalized, which I love. And one of our favorite things about the packaging is the packaging is made out of compostable material. So even though they're individually wrapped for us, they're not wasteful and they're very eco-friendly and sustainable, which is at the core of our foundation. As part of the sponsorship, we wanted something for you guys and Care Of was so pumped to give every one of you that follows the link in our description and order some vitamins as well, 50% off. Using the promo code TEAL50. It's right here. Thank you so much, Kara, for sponsoring today's video. Also for making us feel so much better. We really do feel like over the last week of taking our new vitamins that are tailored uniquely to us, that we're, we're that much closer and that much more on track to our own personal health goals. So if you would like to try them, don't forget to check our link down below. Let's take a look to our bathroom area. How I mentioned it before, for us was very important having a bathroom in the van. And of course it's not a huge bathroom, but it's a very functional bathroom. We decided to keep it all in one place. It's a wet bath. This time we did not go with a whole black water system. We decided to go with a composting toilet where, you know, you do number two and it has a divider where you can mix it and it becomes compost. And then it has a little area in the front where you can do number one, wee oui, wee. Oui. It diverts to its own tech, which we just take it out and empty it when it needs to be. For the shower, also trying to save space because of course it's a small place. We went with a one where we can shower and keep it inside with a retractable shower door. Another way that we can keep things inside the bathroom was installing these where we can put our shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. This was actually Chase's find, and I love it. It keeps the toilet paper in there, and it's dry the whole time. And you might be wondering, how is it possible that you have tiles inside your van that is actually moving constantly? And we use a lightweight backer to keep the weight down and that way install tiles. And yeah, that's all about the bathroom. And now 
we are in one of my favorite areas. I think I say that everything about the van. But. We love every part of the van, but welcome to our multi-purpose, I say that in every area, living space, workspace, and bedroom. For the layout of the back, we decided to go with an L-shaped sofa, mm -hmm. which has worked perfectly. It's very comfy. Yep. For being in a van, of course. Yeah. Uh, and then you will be like, why are these people having a TV on their van? Besides YouTube videos, I also work a fully remote job from the road, from anywhere. And it's, it's it affords us a large opportunity to travel full time. But I convinced Rose to get a rather large television for the space to function as my monitor uh, that I plug my laptop up into. What so. are you talking about? Is that a TV or is that artwork? Well, it's both. <laughs> so we went with a frame TV because we wanted something that was um, aesthetically pleasing as well as obviously functional. So, yeah. And then our table here is on a lagoon mount so we can move it pretty much everywhere. Unlike most vans that have an L-shaped sofa or a sofa in general and a table, the table and the sofa do not become our bed. Nope. We actually take it out of here and that's where our Murphy bed comes to place. We unlock the bed and then we pull it down. Welcome to our bed. So now it's time to talk about our Murphy bed. And this was something that we knew from the beginning we also wanted in the van. Because, you know, we don't want to be putting the bed up and down and, you know, filling up and having an extra cushions to make the bed or having a fixed bed. Just because I like to have friends over and I don't feel comfortable letting a bunch of people just sit in my bed. What if someone spills in my sheets? No, 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 no. So that way we keep it separate. So it's like two completely different rooms. It's super easy to pull up and down. In this area over here, we decided to also maximize our storage space. In this part over here, it's empty, but that's where our comforter and our pillows go. We have a little area over here where we keep some electronics that we don't use all the time, but it's nice to have close by. Here is what Chase was talking about earlier. If we're laying in bed and we don't want to bring the remote because of course he will lose it, we can just switch our lights off. We have USB chargers for our phones and the most exciting part, our dirty clothes. When we were planning the van, there's these small things that you don't realize you need until you're living in the van and you're probably like, where do I put my dirty clothes? Well, we thought about it. <laughs> and you know, the, the fun thing is they has easy access so I can just take off our dirty clothes or whatever and just throw it in there. While we are in bed or, you know, we live in a van. So of course inside here, I feel like we're in home, but we can be in a parking lot. We can be at Walmart. We can have random people outside. So I like to be a little bit extra careful. It also gives us extra insulation. So if it's too cold outside, it will keep the van warm and cozy in here. Or if it's too hot, it will keep the heat out. And that's why we have our window covers. They are made by a friend of ours, which he lives in a van as well. So it's very cool to support small businesses. But not just that. We even tried to make our own. They didn't look good, they didn't stay up, and these are amazing. They are magnetic. There you go. You also have an easy foldable material which comes with snaps, so it's easy to put away as well. So if you're thinking of building a van or you already have a van, you need these. These are a must-have if you live in your vehicle. If that's the case, we're gonna leave the link down below so you can check them out. While I'm here, I'm just gonna show you our upper cabinets, which is more clothing storage. This is mine, very packed. <laughs> of course, sweaters take a lot of space. And this is Chase's, which, you know, he doesn't have many things in there. 
He has a very nice organize. Look at that. And now back to the sofa area. And there you go. That's all. Let's talk about the beginning of a love story. That's a van without propane. That's a van where you can run heavy appliances like air conditioners or blow dryers, multiple vents, fans, televisions, all at the same time. And that you have to start with a very robust solar system and, and battery bank. So under our Murphy bed is where we house our four 142 amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries. That's almost 600 amp hours of lithium battery storage, completely usable amp hours. We have a 3000 watt Victron inverter and a 60 amp Renogy MPPT charge controller. Up on top of the van, we have 600 watts of solar put in series parallel that way, we're maximizing our voltage output, our amperage, and we're bringing in power in relatively low light or cloudy situations, which, trust me, makes our system so much more efficient. We tried to run parallel only, and we've tried to run series only, and both of those just don't make sense um, for the setup that we have. We've had zero issues whatsoever since we've put two panels in series, two panels in series, and then ran those in parallel. So in real world terms, what does all that mean and what can it power? Well, it means we have a lot of battery power to power things like, which we forgot to mention, our central vacuum cleaner. So we can hook our hose in here with a flip of a switch. We are able to power both of our max air fans. So we have two roof vent fans. Um, that can both pull air out, they can pull air in, or they can create a circulation by having one out and one in. The TV, and it can even power our electric induction cooktop, which is more or less a power hog um, when it comes to an appliance. But we chose to go that route because we did not want any propane. We had propane in our bus, and even though it worked great, we were never 100% confident in it. Confidence in a small vehicle is one of the most important things you can have. So we also ran our plumbing down low. Everything electrical is up high and it gets blocked off so you don't have to worry about um, your water and your electric ever mixing, which is also another cause for concern. So we're all good on that front as well. We have an app on our phone where we can monitor um, the system if need be. We can see how many amps are coming in, where our batteries are at as far as a charge level goes, and how many volts and watts our panels are generating to continue allowing us to use uh, the appliances that we use. Another key part to a solar system is redundancy. And we talk about this a lot, um, but we have multiple ways of charging our batteries. We do have shore power. It's hidden underneath the van. Um, we have an alternator isolator, um, which charges our battery bank back here while we're driving. But then we've also got our solar panels, which do 99.9% .9 of all the legwork uh, that we need. Our van tour will not be complete until we show you the outside of the van. First thing first, our awning which is an incredible addition to our van. Chase actually found that as well. It's meant to be for Jeeps, but it goes around half of our van. Let's go to the back. Oh yeah, by the way, the van didn't come with any windows, so we install our back windows and our side window as well. Here, this is a new addition for the van, which I love, we actually put it together on an Instagram Reels. So if you would like to learn how we did these, you better follow us on Instagram. It's a flip up table that we didn't know we needed, but now that we have it, I'm so happy we have it. Right here, we have our outside shower. We flip up these armrests. We get out our outside shower. We connect it. And that's how you have an outside shower. Which reminds me, we haven't told you, we have 46 gallons of fresh water, which is underneath the step in our living room area. Right here, we also can fill up the water tank. Something else we have outside the van is 
on the roof. We have a TV antenna where we can get channels anywhere we are. We also have a signal booster which help us have Wi-Fi or internet anywhere we go. This is all for our van tour. I know it's way shorter than the bus tour. We hope you enjoyed all the little nuances and details. If there's something that we skipped over or we forgot to mention, drop us a question in the comment. We'd be happy to let you guys know. Um, we also have a lot of information about our build on our website. The link is in the description. As Marose mentioned earlier, our build layout and guide are also linked down in the description as well. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We love to have you come along with us in our next adventures, taking the van all over. We'll see you in the next one, friends. Bye.